welcome to Frost Over the World. Later in the program, I'll be talking to Bob Geldorf about aid to Africa, to a Chinese blogger about freedom of speech, and hearing the latest from Lebanon. But first, we begin with Palestine, which has seen a week of violence on the streets, with over 100 people dead as a result. But this time, the fighting is factional in the sense that it's between Palestinian and Palestinian, leaving the West Bank and Gaza split from each other now, politically as well as geographically. Is this the beginning of two Palestinian mini-states? Here to discuss it, our author, Dr. Azam Tamimi, welcome, and the head of Arab Media Watch, Sharif Nashashibi. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Well, with these headlines coming thick and fast in the last day or two, let's begin with the one here, which several papers have, which is Hamas takes full control of Gaza. What was your reaction to that? Uh, it was inevitable. It had to happen. And hopefully this will begin a new, better era. It had to happen. It had to happen because this fighting has been going on intermittently for over a year. And it wasn't between Hamas and Fatah. It was between the people of Gaza and a small of group, very influential group of people acting in the name of Fatah, equipped by Israel and the United States of America in order to hinder the government and prevent it ever from becoming functional. And is that the way you see it? Uh, I mean, I was surprised by how fast uh, Hamas's victory came about. Um, you know, that they had uh, given Fatah an ultimatum to lay down their arms by Friday night, and it seemed that they, you know, they'd uh, been victorious before this ultimatum. So I, I was, uh, I wasn't surprised that Hamas would 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 win militarily in Gaza because it is a stronghold of theirs. But uh, the speed of it was was surprising to me. And do you think that it's now? full control of Gaza by Hamas? Um, I, th I think for the meantime, yes. But I, I don't think there is a military solution to this. I mean, the, the two factions will have to come to a political accommodation. I, I, I don't think this will be the end of it otherwise. We'll have to come to a political accommodation. Well, Hamas has always said this was uh, not a fight against Fatah. It was a fight against an, a s small group of people. And the speed with which Hamas managed to control or take over uh, can only be explained by the fact that there has been massive popular support, including from within Fatah itself in Gaza, for what Hamas was doing. And there was yesterday a press conference in the streets by members of Fatah uh, saying that they were happy to see Dahlan and his group uh, being removed. And what about the other half of the latest, the latest headlines? The fact that, in, in fact, the government has been, Mr. Abbas has sacked the Fatah government. What about that, first of all, Sharif? Well, Hamas has said that this is uh, politically worthless, this move. And I would agree in the sense that the, the, the government um, was never able, never given a chance to function in the first place. Um, so I, I, I don't see any difference on the ground. I mean, from Hamas's election victory to the coalition government to now, um, the, uh, the Palestinian Authority has not been able to govern properly. It's been starved of funds. It, it, it has all sorts of problems. Uh, it is, it is a, a crippled, non-sovereign government. It, it, it can't do anything. So I don't think the situation now is going to change that much on the ground in, in terms of, of uh, authority. But various people are saying that he was constitutionally entitled to do this. Do you think he was, Mr. Abbas? Well, I, I mean, I, whether he is or he isn't, I, I don't think it makes a difference on the ground. I mean, the, the, the authority was lacking, the rule of law was lacking before this decision. I, I don't think this will change anything on the ground. It's, it's really more of a symbolic decision, in my opinion. And Mr. Hania was saying that regardless of what's been said about the fact that the government's sacked, they're going to carry on as if nothing's happened. I mean, is that practical? I mean, if, can they carry on as if they're still the government, if they're not still the government? Well, in theory, according to the Constitution or to the basic law, Abbas can sack the government, but the, the sacked government will have to continue to uh, act until a new election is, uh, is held. Uh, and therefore, uh, according to the Constitution, uh, uh, Ismail Haniyeh 
uh, has the right to continue to be the prime minister until a new election is held. But actually, what Mahmoud Abbas has done is uh, uh, in response to pressure from the uh, group of advisors who surround him, like uh, Nabil Amri, Yasser Abdrabbo, and all these guys, who have always maintained a very anti-Hamas, even anti-Islamic uh, position. And it was very unwise on his part to do so, because he should have called Haniya and said to him, well, now, once this obstacle has been removed from the way, and Dahlan was an obstacle for both men, Haniya and uh, Mahmoud Abbas, let's work together. But he, he hasn't done that. Now they, they need to work together. The national unity government need to be activated. It wasn't able to function before because of this U.S.-funded group. Now, once this group is out of the way, they can function but very do you well. Don't think, do you think there will be two, as, as people have been saying, two mini-states, two separate mini-states, Gaza and West Bank? Well, that would be very regrettable if it uh, were to uh, be allowed to happen. It shouldn't be allowed to happen. Uh, and if uh, some elements of Fatah in the West Bank are bent on doing what their colleagues were doing in Gaza before this happened, we will see the same thing happen in the West Bank eventually, because Hamas has a majority also in the West Bank, not only in Gaza. The, the, the fact that it cannot now show itself is because Israeli well, occupation Fatah, is still Fatah direct. Is much stronger. Whatever the, 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 the difference between that's because of the Israeli much... that's because of the Israeli occupation. The Israelis aid Fatah in the West Bank as they aided Fatah or some elements of Fatah in Gaza. But I mean, in this particular situation, do you think, Sharif, do you see a situation coming where there will be this, as some people fear, exactly the same awful violence that there was this this week in Gaza in the West Bank? The battle that. Uh, it's, the good doctor was just mentioned. It's difficult to say because th things are developing so fast. I mean, if, if you'd asked a, um, a year ago or six months ago if we'd see this level of fighting in Gaza, everyone would have said no. Mm. So it's, it's, it's really difficult to say. I mean, you know, uh, things are moving so fast and things are so unpredictable that I, I, I couldn't give you a sure opinion. Who, who knows at this stage? Who knows at this stage? How no. do you see the next month going? It depends very much on the uh, uh, attitude of uh, regional and international powers. If the United States, as we've seen uh, so far, is, will, is going to support uh, Mahmoud Abbas and continue to impose sanctions on Gaza, as some people expect, uh, uh, then the reaction uh, will, will be uh, quite uh, violent. Uh, the, the mayhem will continue. I think the world community needs to change its attitude. It's time they recognize that the Palestinian people made a choice, and that choice has to be respected. Give the people a chance to rule themselves as they wish. But uh, how, many, how many people were killed this week, Hamas, and how many Fatah? about a hundred or so. But, but most of them were Fatah? You see, but over, over the past year, many more were killed by the gangsters who functioned from Gaza in the name of Fatah. So it had to be done. This was a surgical operation that was inevitable in order to remove uh, this uh, satanic uh, uh, growth within uh, Gaza. Well, thank you both very much indeed. Was it indeed surgical or inflammatory? Anyway, we'll see. We'll take a break and we'll be right back.